Most of my videos are about business in general, real estate, or the garbage business, but I've been asked by several people to do some videos about my propane business. But before I do, I'd like to thank everybody that subscribed to the channel. I just crossed over 1,200 subscribers, and this was kind of a big deal to me. I know 1,200 subscribers doesn't sound like a lot, and there's a lot of people on YouTube that have way more subscribers than me, but going from zero to 1,200 was really, really hard, and I'm very thankful for everybody that subscribes to the channel. If you're new to the channel, I would ask you to please consider subscribing. I have a goal to hit 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year. I have a long way to go, but I think together we can probably get there. So about 10 years ago, I started a business called Lamarco Logistics. We transported liquefied gases like propane and butane. At some point, we decided to start selling products alongside our transportation business to try to increase the profit we could make. I went and met with tons of retail propane outlets in Central and South Texas to try to get them to buy wholesale gas from me and then I could transport it to them with my trucks. One of the businesses that I went to visit was the propane company that I now own. I've been hesitant to make a video about my propane business because I really didn't want to say anything negative on video. But when I interacted with this company, the impression I got was that the owner was not running the business and that he hadn't in a long time and that the business was actually in decline and there was just a few employees that were the glue holding everything together. I talked to the owner about buying the business and after a few meetings, we worked out a deal that was good for both of us. I was taking a lot of risk buying a company that was in decline, however, it had a really good piece of real estate that came with the business that kind of hedged my bet. In the case that the investment didn't work out as far as the business, I could sell the real estate or rent it out, but it hedged my bet and I would only lose about half of my investment if it didn't work out instead of getting totally wiped out. The first year that I owned the business, we sold a little over 400,000 gallons of propane. The company's numbers had been in decline for multiple years. By implementing some of the things I talk about in these videos, my team and I have completely changed this business. If you're not familiar with the propane business, here's a high level view of how things work. The propane business and the garbage business are similar in the fact that you provide the customer a container and then you service the container. It's a long-term play and you need density for it to work. Retail propane guys, or guys like me that sell to the general public, we buy from wholesalers or straight from the refinery or plant that makes the product. From there, there are three main revenue streams that we use to generate a profit. The first is service. If you're in Texas, somebody at your company has to have what's called a Category E license. This gives you the authority to install and work on propane systems. And if you're not in Texas, well, why aren't you in Texas? After you have a license to install new propane systems, you can work with home builders to install systems as they're building homes, and then hopefully retain the customer once they move in. You can also troubleshoot and repair existing systems in homes that have already been built. Both of these are kind of the same concept as being a plumber, except with gas. What hurts this business segment and actually makes it the least profitable business segment is that when you get a new customer, you have to install their tank free of charge normally. So a lot of what your service technicians or your service department is doing is installing tanks that aren't generating any revenue, but it's a long-term play. Once you have the customer, you can make money over time. Which actually brings me to the second way that propane companies make money, which is bulk deliveries. A bulk delivery is when you take propane to somebody's home or business. It's usually at least 100 gallons. The customer will have a tank on site that sometimes you own and sometimes they own and you just fill it periodically as needed. A healthy company will have a really good mix of residential and commercial accounts. Residential customers use less gas but have a higher margin, and commercial customers use more gas but have a lower margin. Your average residential customer might use anywhere from 100 gallons a year to 1,000 gallons a year, 
and commercial accounts might use as much as hundreds of thousands of gallons a year. The last revenue stream that retail propane businesses use to generate profit is cylinders. This is by far the highest margin business, but you're selling in much smaller quantities. Cylinder revenue will come from selling, refilling, or exchanging cylinders that may be used in applications like your grill, small heaters, or commercial accounts use them for forklifts in large warehouses. This usually happens in one of three ways. One, the customer brings the cylinder into your location and you refill it for them. Two, you deliver the cylinder to your customer as part of an exchange program. Or three, you partner with a company to put in a cylinder fill station at their location and they fill the cylinders for the customers. The propane business in general is not a high margin business, however it's utility. Rain or shine, good economy, bad economy, people have to heat their homes. So it's a steady business and if you build it out, it will make you a lot of money over time. So in the beginning of the video, I told you that the first year I owned the business, we sold a little bit over 400,000 gallons of propane. This year, we sold a little bit over a million gallons of propane and our growth path is looking really good. It's been about four years. The way we've done this is by using a lot of the strategies I talk about on this channel. We run a strong marketing program. We try to take care of our employees and build a culture that is all about servicing the customer first. And we have retained and hired the right people. Remember I said there was a couple of people that were kind of the glue holding everything together when I bought it. Well, they're still here, but now we give them the tools and the support they need for the business to flourish. On top of that, we've weeded out bad employees and replaced them with employees that have a like mind of working hard and servicing our customers. We have a stellar manager who is also a partner in the business and over the last few years, we've taken a business that probably would have failed and turned it into the premier business in the area. This is a big part of why I do what I do. Being able to be part of a story like this brings me great joy. Obviously, at the end of the day, I have to make money to support my family, but building something really cool is a lot of fun too. Guys, I make these videos to hopefully inspire somebody to make an investment or start a business. And if you have a business, I'm gonna help you try to make it better. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. And if you need help on your insurance, I recently did a video on how to save money on your insurance and I'm gonna put it up right here and I'll see you soon in the next video.